guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you might notice that the background is a little bit different um, because I'm on vacation with my family and my extended family. One of my brothers just got married and so we're in California, but I wanted to go ahead and film a few videos for you guys while I'm here. And if you notice my shirt here, this might give you a little preview of some content that might be coming up in the next couple of weeks. Now we're spending a few days up in the mountains, but after that we will be spending a couple of days in the Disneyland Park, so I'm looking really looking forward to that. I've got some fun videos planned. So a little bit of a preview here today with my cute little Minnie Mouse t-shirt. So today I thought I would do a video that I've seen done before and I think is kind of interesting and I thought some of you might be interested. a what's in my bag and this is kind of a mommy edition. Here is my purse that I probably carry with me a lot of the time and today I'm going to show you the things I've got in my bag today and these are the things that I might on a regular basis have with me. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first kind of obvious things in here are my cell phone, gotta check that Instagram. In the front pocket here I have my keys, that's typically where I keep them so easy access. And because we were driving up some windy mountain roads, I have a bag with some Advil just in case I got a headache from motion sickness. So next I've got some reading material. I've got the two books that I'm working on reading right now. They are The Waking Land by Callie Bates. And this just released, I've got the arc here, but it just came out recently. And, um, and I've mentioned this before, I think. So far I'm really liking it. It's kind of a fun, epic fantasy. The other thing I'm reading right now is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. And I know I'm a little bit late on this train, but I've been hearing about it. So far it's really cute, takes me back to high school, and it just seemed like a good summer vacation read. So I've got that one in my bag too. Next in terms of obvious things, my wallet. My Kindle, which I do occasionally read ebooks on, but really this is primarily used to keep my three-year-old entertained. So Daniel Tiger episodes, Dora the Explorer episodes, Hooked on Phonics reading game, especially while we're traveling and on vacation. If we're in the car, if we're on the airplane, this is a great way to keep him entertained. And then going along with the three-year-old, of course, I've got some snacks for him. And these are actually really great if you guys are looking for them. They're both by Happy Tots and they're organic with pureed fruit and veggies. This one is organic pears, mangoes, and spinach. It's got three grams of fiber, it's got omega-3s. This is a really great way to get your toddler to eat fruits and veggies, particularly veggies. My kid will eat fruit all day long, but there aren't that many vegetables he'll eat. These, however, he loves. Not just this one, but they have a lot of really great ones. The other thing that I'm really loving from them is this fiber and protein soft-baked oat bar. And part of the reason I like this is it doesn't have a lot of added sugar because let me tell you, granola bars have so much added sugar. There's a little bit of agave syrup in it, but the sweetness is primarily from dates and grape juice. So these are a great, nice little snack if you're looking for a healthier alternative to a granola bar. And these I'm really liking right now. I've been trying to get off dairy. And so these are Vega, I don't know if you can see this very well, but it's a Vega protein shake. What I do is I go to Starbucks and get two shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup and mix this in. It tastes kind of like a mocha. This is a chocolate fa flavored, but this is all plant-based protein and it doesn't have artificial sweeteners. It has a little bit of stevia, but it doesn't have all the crap that a lot of these protein drinks do. So I really like it. It's super filling. So if I need something on the go, I'm hungry and with the kids, I need caffeine and protein and some good nutrition. This is kind of a nice option. If you're a mom on the go, you can throw it in your purse, go to Starbucks, mix it in, and it's pretty good and keeps you full for a while. I've got a pen, some nice sunglasses, a hair tie, and some lip products. I can't go anywhere without some kind of a lip balm or lip gloss. So I've got one of the EOS little lip balms here. And then this, I have a video either out or coming out soon. Um, it's a new Pixie product. It's a lippy lip duo, which I really love. I just did a first impression video of this and ever since I've been using it constantly, it's got a lip stain on one side and a gloss on the other and I really like it. So I've got that in my bag. 
And then the last thing, this is actually a little bit more personal, but we recently found out that our six month old has some pretty severe allergies, including um, allergies to peanuts and tree nuts. And so because of that, he is at risk for anaphylactic shock. We, we found out he's allergic to some other things they think he'll grow out of, but the nuts are really the big deal. And so because of that, I'm now also carrying an EpiPen and some Benadryl in my bag with me. And that pretty much has to go everywhere. And so that's something that's pretty new that we're just starting to deal with. He's only six months old right now, so it hasn't had a huge impact yet, but in the future as he gets older and that has more of an impact, I may make some videos about that. If that's something you guys are interested in, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Also, if any of you have had allergies to nuts or other or severe food allergies or have kids that have, please let me know because this is something that's kind of new to us and we're really in the process of learning about it and figuring out how to deal with it. So I would really appreciate any advice or input if any of you have it or experiences with this. That would be great. All right, you guys, so that's it. That's everything that is in my bag on a day-to-day -day basis. If I've got the kids with me, I might bring a diaper bag or I might just throw in a bottle, some diapers and wipes in my bag too. At least for right now, that's what I've got. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.